I'm Ollie from greenteaguru.co.uk and today I'll be showing you jasmine pearls. So these jasmine pearls are very special. A lot of people ask me what makes a jasmine pearl. So what they do is they get Fujian province green tea, they roll it up into a little ball and then uh, they infuse it with jasmine petals. So they inf what they simply do is they uh, leave them on, a, on, a, on the ground, they add the jasmine petals, they leave them for a day and they take them away. So that helps infuse the jasmine flavour. This process is then repeated seven, eight times, okay? Um, now, here's something interesting. The best jasmine tea does not have any jasmine petals left in it. The reason for that is the jasmine petals add bitterness and that's not what you want. By doing it this way, the traditional method, which is adding the jasmine petals and taking them away, um, you're going to get the best jasmine experience possible. Um, cheaper jasmine pearls will simply use the, uh, the pearls that have been rolled and then they spray liquefied jasmine onto the uh, pearls and you're not going to get the same experience. So this, I believe, is the best jasmine tea experience possible. Okay, so today we're going to use about five grams and we're going to brew this tea Chinese method. Uh, the good thing about this tea is it can be brewed big teapot style, no problem at all, thrown in a big teapot, add hot water, try not to put boiling water, try and use 85 centigrade heat water. And to do that, put the kettle onto a boil and then leave it for about one, one and a half minutes and use that water to put straight in the teapot and enjoy. But as I mentioned, today we're doing Chinese method which involves a gai wan and hot water. And we're gonna use the same amount of jasmine pearls, but we're gonna do a, a series of short infusions, okay? So we're probably gonna do about five infusions. And you, get a, you do get a better taste doing it this way, so let's go for it. Infusion number one, and what we always do is we pour in water, leave it for a few seconds, and then pour that water away. Reason for that is we're trying to wake up the tea leaves. So water in, leave it a few seconds, bit of a stir around, and dump. Okay. So I'm getting that beautiful jasmine aroma already. And what you're going to find is when you, um, when you brew this tea, those pearls are going to open up, exposing all that lovely green tea flavour and all that jasmine flavour. So, the next one in, and this one we're going to drink. Leave it for a few seconds, maybe seven seconds, something like that. And I can see the pearls starting to unravel now. Pour it straight into our share glass. It's a wonderful green hue coming out of this tea. Okay. So let's taste the first infusion. clear, very bright. Again, this, this tea is another thirst quencher. It's not too thick, it's very thin, which I like in green teas. Just keeps me coming back for another mouthful. And I can, the, the jasmine's there, it's the first infusion. And please remember, the first one's always lower in flavor and slowly going up. So by the second and third infusion, you're gonna get the wonderful jasmine flavor coming through. I can never tire of this tea. Right, infusion number two. And I can see all these pearls have started to open up. All the flavor is definitely gonna come through in this one. I've still got a beautiful, bright, clean, crisp taste of the jasmine. Still on my palate from the first infusion. Um, 
always very different from the traditional sort of jasmine tea that you find in most shops. It's going to be more sort of tangy and bitter. This is just clean and bright. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to do a, a great close up of this later on. You can see how the, the pearls have unfurled, leaving very small strands of tea leaves. Very, very pretty. Let's pull this one out. So just like before, the jasmine is there. Come through a little bit stronger, a little bit more depth of flavor, but still, um, I would say very delicate, which is the beauty of this tea. You're getting that delicate jasmine flavor. It's not too harsh, it's not too gritty, it's not too bitter, which is absolutely perfect. So this tea could be pushed for five or perhaps seven infusions. Depending on how strong or light you like the tea. Really good to share with friends. Um, and for people who are getting into tea, everyone loves a good jasmine. So this is a good one to get. Okay. So we'll do the third infusion now. I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit longer say 15 seconds and see what happens. Remember I'm using uh, 85C temperature centigrade tea. So not too strong, that is the secret here. Please don't use boiling water. It's just gonna ruin the flavor for you. That'll do it. When you're brewing Chinese style, it's really important, it's really important to get every single drop out of the tea. Leaving the leaves wet, but no water left at the bottom of the guy one. And that's because if you leave water at the bottom, it's gonna carry on brewing the tea and it's gonna end up in a, in a bitter tea for your next brew. So very important that one. So this is infusion number three. Left a little bit longer, let's see what happens. So to be fair, it's still very delicate. It's just really added a little bit more mouth pucker, a little tang, but not bitter at all. Really, really pleasant. So feel free to mess around with the amount of tea you put in and the temperature of the water and the length of infusion time. You'll soon figure out what you like. And the beauty of this tea is, again, it's a very forgiving tea. So if you want to experiment, different parameters, please do, and you'll find something that works for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Ollie from Green Tea Guru, and you can pick up this tea and many more from greenteaguru.co.uk. Until then, people, happy cupping.